My name is Rebecca Harrop, aka Poodle Peacock from Southgate College in London, England. The aim of this video is to introduce you to the Education in a Virtual World project, or eVivo, funded by the European Commission, which is utilising the environment of Second Life to educate learners in communication, language, design, IT, programming and business skills. So here we are in the virtual environment of Second Life, where all things are possible. I'm currently standing on the island we bought for the eVivo project and if I take a look around me it's pretty sparse at the moment apart from our training materials because we are in the early stages of one of our aims which is to build an educational environment and virtual fair. Here you can see an example of a previous virtual fair that showcased learners items. These can be objects to promote real world businesses and ideals such as environmentalism and sustainability as well as just being things that they've made for fun. Uh, for example, here's a spaceship that you can actually ride in Second Life to go up into Second Life space. Live feeds are also possible within Second Life, which makes it really brilliant for um, live presentations and remote viewing of video conferences, which of course means that we can have a very collaborative and communicative project going on with students actually watching inside Second Life uh, people at remote uh, locations and partner colleges and indeed here are students actually within the classroom um, watching what's going on in Second Life in their classroom environment as well. So what makes Second Life such a good environment for teaching and learning? Well Second Life is a social networking tool, it's just based in a 3D environment. Uh, many learners are familiar with web page social networks like Facebook and Twitter and Second Life shares many aspects with those. So there's chat and messaging and the concept of friends and a friends list etc. The main difference is, is that in Second Life, instead of just working in flat two dimensions, you've got three. So you can have your own avatar or body and indeed it can be any shape uh, that you choose. You, could, you don't have to be male or female, you could be a robot, you can be a dinosaur, you can be whatever you want to be. And that body can interact with the buildings and environments around it. And indeed where the fun comes is that you can create those buildings and those environments yourself and by programming and learning very very basic scripting you can uh, determine how those objects will react when you touch them. So for example this stone here, one of the, the Finnish students has programmed it to change colour upon touch and behind me there's a, a fireworks generator that some of the students and learners have already programmed to actually emit different types of particles. Second Life is also a virtual environment with no geographical borders, so it enables educators to easily expand a learner's experience with very little cost by taking them to new places uh, to meet new people, genuine new people behind the avatars. Um, you know, if you're learning a foreign language, why not visit Spain? Why not visit Germany? Um, if you're doing learning about different cultures or art, why not visit Amsterdam, the Moulin Rouge? Uh, if you're doing history, why not go to medieval England? Um, so if I open up the places menu, I can I can see a variety of events. I can search for places. Uh, we're here in London, so why don't I just search for? Or well, I'm here in London. Why don't I just search for something in London? Let's let's go to Mayfair, shall we? Every day I'm shuffling. And so what do I find when I get here? Well, when I get to London, I do see things that are typically kind of London orientated. I've got my little flags. <laughs> I've, got, I've got my underground. I've got Eros. But I've also got shops. And shopping is a very, very big part of Second Life. Um, people make real money uh, doing real business in um, selling t-shirts and clothing and shoes and swords and houses and you name it you can buy it in Second Life. It does actually exchange um, on the stock market for uh, what it what does it actually equate to real money. Um, so anyone who you've got who's a design student who's making uh, particular objects in, in the real world can also sell them or, or mimic them in, in Second Life and anybody who fancies making a quick book can also uh, do so by offering a variety of services including uh, everything from making of houses to tours um, and educational facilities here in Second Life. So 
also because of its very nature the material costs are limited since they only exist in the virtual environment they can easily be shared and reused really lends itself as well to being able to make short animated films um, without having to buy expensive sets or hire actors um, very very easily in Second Life um, same goes for planning, establishing and marketing new enterprises it also lends itself very very well to sort of uh, playing out the scenario of um, educational videos for emergency scenarios or health and safety videos perhaps something in the garage or in the medical industry where things might not be able to actually be practiced in the in the classroom can quite easily be mimicked uh, within the virtual world so we've made really good progress with the eVivo project so far with uh, both learners and teachers alike enjoying themselves learning to make basic shapes in second life and script them learning to actually find ourselves collaborating with people who speak different languages um, and be able to type and text and, and, and learn from one another in that way. Here we are all enjoying a lecture in the virtual environment whilst actually sitting in the classrooms in different parts of the world and talking to one another at the same time, scripting our own objects and then seeing them used in this virtual environment. You're more than welcome to come and see our aims and objectives and to join us on this project. You can find our website at www.evivo.com that's e uh, minus sign v i w o dot com or indeed to find us within second life on our own island there thank you very much for watching this video